Madden Football is the home of the Super Bowl. And this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Dallas Cowboys and the Jacksonville Jaguars. And it's coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, it is all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy. As it'll be the AFC champion, Jacksonville Jaguars taking on the NFC champions, the Dallas Cowboys. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Oh, Charles, what a moment for this Jaguars franchise. Their first Super Bowl appearance since their founding in 1995. And how much applause should they be getting? A ton. Why? Finally took the last step because they've been to the AFC Championship multiple times in franchise history. Finally able to step through the door and now on the precipice of their first ever NFL title. Meanwhile, for the Cowboys, the wait is over. This has been, of course, one of the preeminent franchises in American sports history. They've had a bumpy ride along the way, but they're back in the Super Bowl for the first time since Super Bowl 30 in 1996. And partner, when you say this is the first time back in the Super Bowl since 1996, Super Bowl 30, I'm blown away. One of the preeminent franchises in the NFL. You would have thought they'd been here multiple times since then. The Cowboys want to add another Super Bowl title and bring it home to Dallas. short of a first down on first and second down and then on third down they pick up a sack what tremendous momentum for them to start this game on fourth down here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away back deep for Jacksonville the dangerous Jamal Agnew he'll take it at the 42 That'll go as a punt of 42, seven on the return. And this offense will take over right at the midfield stripe with a first and 10. So here's the first drive now for the Jags. They're led by the number one overall pick in the 2021 draft, Trevor Lawrence. From midfield now, Lawrence. And he spoke very eloquently and passionately on media day about what a victory he would mean for him. He knows this just isn't any other game. This is the kind of game that stays with you for a lifetime. If there's anyone on this field tonight who's most ready for this moment, I think it's this man right here. It's early, but it now a cliche alert here. Big players make big plays. Should I say in big games too? Ah, oh, what the heck. And this defense, they're going to have to find some way to slow him down as this game goes on. Because when this combination is going good, they can tear your secondary apart. First carry for the Clemson man, Travis Etienne. And he's going to get this one down inside the 15. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Lawrence will throw. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the Cowboys are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Well, Brandon, as they say in popular call, 
Fletcher. This one's going to leave a mark because they can see the end zone, but it'll stay out of reach because of their error. All their offensive teammates have to give the quarterback right now, offer a little bit of encouragement because what's done is done. Let's get them next time out. Three and a half to go, first quarter. First down, Prescott. Oh, no, his first throw of his Super Bowl is intercepted. And they're already in the red zone. The 18-yard line is where they take over. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And, Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there. Got a nice interception and set up their offense in great shape. So time to see Jacksonville get on offense for the second time here in this game. But following the interception, they're set up nicely here. Already inside the red zone. Knocking on the door, if you will. First and ten. Lawrence's throw here taken in by Ingram. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. Now Lawrence. Touchdown, Jaguars! Evan Ingram from eight yards out. And the Jags are on the board first here in this Super Bowl. Brandon, this is the Super Bowl. A touchdown scored in any game is big. And this one, it's massive. for the point after. And this is up and good. The score now 7-0 Jaguars. They had the short field and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Dallas offense set for this next drive. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now. Hope we'll get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. Now, hang on here a second. Looks like a Jaguar in some obvious discomfort from that last play. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. Now Prescott. Look in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That's a first down with a cherry on top, 31 yards. They'll run left with Pollard. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half. And I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. A second down throw for Prescott. He's got his man. It's Gallup. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 20-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. From the red zone now, Prescott. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sacked back at the 29. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shaking up. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. 
And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Looking to throw. Prescott. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Man, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game. I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what, when he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. That brings us to the end of one in Super Bowl 58. Much more to come from Las Vegas. And we are back. Biggest game of the year, the Super Bowl, and both teams ready for the start of the second quarter. He had the distance, but it's no good. Line to the right, and this will stay at a seven-point game. And any time you see a kicker trot out to try one for 56 yards, you know everything's got to come off perfectly for it to have a chance. If the laces aren't quite right, if he doesn't hit the fat part of the ball just right, it's unlikely to go through, and that one winds up no good. So the missed 56 yarder, and now the flip side. Good starting field position at the 46 near midfield. They'll start on the ground, ETN. Down the right sideline. Touchdown, Jaguars. Travis ETN, 54 yards. And the Jaguars continue to look good here in the first half of this Super Bowl. We know it's primarily a passing league now, but anytime a runner breaks one like that, you've got to have a secondary that can find a way to it and find a way to get him on the ground. Absent of that, he's going to find the end zone every time. Now McManus for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. So they hit pay dirt on just one play. The long run, the scamper, and a very nice scamper into the end zone for the touchdown. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. And that's complete to Colts. And he is going to lose yardage here. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. They completed the screen on the perimeter, but, boy, that was textbook defense. Exactly as you're taught to play against a wide receiver screen, and they snuffed it out for a loss of yardage. Prescott. This is caught. It's close. And mark him down way up close to the 40 of the 39. Third and 19, no problem as they're able to convert. When you struggle out of offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Prescott, and that's going to be incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. The improv act, they're good for nine, and now they'll be looking at a third and short, third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third and one, here's Prescott. 
And unable to connect. If he had caught it, it would have been a first down. Instead, it's fourth. It's going to be another frustrating end to a drive here. This offense, they've not been able to get anything going in this first half. And now it's going to be time to gather on the sidelines and try to figure out what's going wrong. Who has an idea? Who has a plan? Time to implement it. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds, and they'll spot it right at the 20. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Now they run the toss to Bigsby. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. That one good for a gain of 13 for Jacksonville in a first down. Those are the types of run, Charles, that they say this first-year running back can provide a lot more of in the future. He made it look easy, didn't he, picking up that first down? Some have described him as a diamond in the rough with a lot of polish, nice little buffing. This guy could be one of the top backs going forward. Aaron it out, looking for Ridley. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 27 yards there, a first down. Love the play call that time. Love the design. You put three tight ends on the field. That screams jumbo set, running formation to a defense, right? No, they go play action, and defense gets confused for just a split second. And next thing you know, completion for good yardage. That one complete downfield to Kirk. Touchdown, Jaguars. Christian Kirk, 49 yards. And the Jaguars are feeling good as they extend their lead. Super Bowl. Well, I don't think that we're ready yet to say the route is on, but they have certainly looked near flawless here in this first half, and now an extra point away from making it 21-0. Yeah, and your experience led you to say that because we have both seen those 21-0 leads come and go in this league, but this one feels pretty darn secure, and here's the other part. Even when people chip away at it, it forces you into being almost perfect on the other side, doesn't it, in order to try to mount a comeback. McManus's point after is good, and it's now 21 to nothing. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And this, you'd hate to say that a drive in the first half must end in points, but you're down 21-0. They're going to have to get something going fairly quickly. I would agree totally with that because if you're going to mount the comeback, it's going to have to come in bits and pieces. It doesn't just all come at one time, right? We haven't seen anything more than a six-point touchdown ever in this game, right? So that side has to be done. Get points on the board now. Start your comeback. But you're exactly right. Let's get it going right here in this spot. Seven yards there and a first down. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Prescott off play action. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. On play action, Prescott. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Third and short yardage, Prescott. And he is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. 
Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Play action now. Prescott. Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Under pressure and they got to him again. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Not wanting to risk another sack, they'll play it safe with a run. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout. So as they talk it over, we step aside. On to punt now, Anger, as he boots this one away. On the return, here's Agnew. Oh, good move. Great blocking on the return. It springs him for 25. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. Very good starting field position for the Jaguars offense as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Looking downfield for Jones. Touchdown! Zay Jones in the final seconds of the first half. And the Jaguars are starting to open things up here in the Super Bowl. And that's a lead that excites a team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Yeah, able to extend that lead, and you always say it. That can totally change the complexion of half number two. Yeah, it changes your morale, changes your outlook. But even before that, Let's see if they decide to kind of squib kick or what they're going to do on the kickoff because you don't want to give up a big play right before the half ends. Good point. Extra point from McManus is good. And that makes the score 28 to nothing. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. Looking up into the roof and he muffs it. It's loose. So we've reached halftime here in the Super Bowl. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment. But welcome everyone to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports halftime report. In the first half, we saw a strong outing from Trevor Lawrence. He connected on three touchdown passes in those first two quarters as his guys have built up a sizable lead here at the break. Both teams making their final adjustments of the season during this long halftime break. Who will claim the Lombardi Trophy? To find out, we go back to Brandon and Charles in Vegas for the second half of Super Bowl 58. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And able to break this out all the way to the 38-yard line. Great return. The Jaguars ready to get going to start quarter number three. And I would imagine this is where you have to take stock of the situation, CD, and say, gosh, we're halfway to the Lombardi Trophy. Let's not slow down now. And I like the way you went there. Let's not slow down now because the first half certainly went their way. And I would expect them to continue with that type of a game plan. But you're right. You do think back to Super Bowl 54. 49ers had a double-digit lead in the fourth quarter. Couldn't hold on. So plenty can still happen. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line. And we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop. And that takes a little hey, bit of extra hey, time. Hey. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. Now Lawrence on first down. That's complete to Travis Etienne out of the backfield. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. 
Looking to throw, Lawrence. Oh, and it's intercepted. He was trying to get it to Ridley. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the Cowboys are going to take possession here at their own three-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's upended at the six as they double their room to maneuver on a pickup of three. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got them pinned down deep. And on the first play, they gave up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down. That's what they talk about us all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were after that run. A first down throw for Prescott. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Prescott yet again. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. And you can tell just by looking at him that this offense is a frustrated unit. Things are really unraveling here, and as a head coach, time to earn your paycheck. You've got to find a way to keep it together as that brings up another fourth down. And that's taken at his own 42. Seven yards on the return after a punt of 39. And the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. Jacksonville set to go, go again offensively. And the last time out, they had the good drive going. You get in the red zone, they throw the interception. Not their first pick of the game either, so we'll see if they're more careful, more cautious here on this one. Yeah, nothing worse than repeat mistakes, right? You end up copping the ball out, you end up throwing a pick, everything goes awry. And now, points don't go up on the board. I just heard a fan scream out. I thought the idea was to score points. Yeah, they're getting a bit restless, too. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Now Lawrence to throw. This is caught, it's Kirk. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the seven. That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession, both north of 20 yards. The partner is still in the third quarter, but they've got this one well in hand and still airing it out with gusto and picking up some nice gains. And even in lopsided games like this, you don't really see starters get lifted or the foot come off the gas before the fourth quarter. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. Got his man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Calvin Ridley laying himself out in the end zone. And the Jaguars are starting to pour it on to the game's biggest stage. They are running away with this Super Bowl. McManus now for the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it's Calvin Ridley who finishes it off with a touchdown reception. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Possession of the football going back to the Cowboys. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I, I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. 
This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Yeah, he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks. Give him a yard up to the 42. We're just looking at the scoreboard and where we're at in the third quarter. I don't know that it's going to matter much at this point, CD, but these small runs on the ground, they're not going to get it done. No, they're not. And right now, the guys stop. Oh, the turnover fest continues. Here's another interception. Picked off by Tyson Campbell. And the Jaguars will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. Partner, I think this will want to ride very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. They'll start in excellent field position following the INT. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. Lawrence. Open man downfield is Ridley. Touchdown, Jaguars! Calvin Ridley, his second touchdown of the Super Bowl. And the Jaguars are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Now McManus to tack on the extra point. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. They certainly made quick work of that, ultra quick work. One of the fastest drives you'll ever see, just one play resulting in the touchdown. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. Well, the disparity in this game, it just seems to grow with each possession here, Charles. They are really struggling. They have not put up a single point, and on the other side, the points keep piling up and up and up. So you know the frustration level has to be rising, right? So they've got to find a way to quell that because otherwise, they certainly won't get anything done in this one. Keep diving deeper into the offensive playbook. The bottom line is don't quit competing. Prescott looks to throw on first. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Here's Prescott. He's going to find Gallup here complete. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. We are through three quarters of play here from Allegiant Stadium in Super Bowl 58. And there's just one quarter that remains in this edition of the biggest game of the year, the Super Bowl, as we get set for the fourth quarter. On first and ten, Prescott. Prescott able to get down there at the end on the slide, and he has the first as well. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. A second down throw for Prescott. 
Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can, and that's what he's done very well in this game. Pollard. He's in. Touchdown, Dallas. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. Aubrey good with a PAT as they make the score just a slight bit more respectable here in the final quarter of play. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Now Jamal Agnew from his end zone. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. Up to midfield. Jamal Agnew. He will take this all the way. Touchdown. Well, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back through the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we have been disappointed watching their execution throughout this contest. Now McManus for the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. And no doubt one of the most, if not the most, exciting play we'll see in this game. The kick return all the way to the end zone for six points. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. And we will not see an attempt to match that return touchdown as this will be a touchback and bring it out to the 25. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And it's becoming more and more apparent that this is just not going to be their night. That Lombardi trophy so close, but the expectations simply have not matched the results as they start on this drive first and 10. Prescott. He finds his man complete. That's Ferguson. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Prescott on first down. On the out route, it's Lamb with a grab. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A good-looking drive for the Cowboys so far. It's a first down. Prescott now. Here's a screen now for Pollard. And oh, he sheds a tackle. Now he's got some space. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. To the air again, Prescott. And he's going to go down. They get to it back at the 40. Foya Sade Aluikin, his second sack of the night. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. And Cooks has it over the middle. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. The Cowboys on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, 4 for 10. This is going to be third and 13. And a big loss here as he's taken down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sand. Oh, you can just see it in their body language. They're starting to see victory on the horizon now. And if it comes to fruition, they got to give a game ball to the front seven. Defensive line has taken charge and controlled this game. Face a challenge of stopping this opposing offense, and they've done so with ease. Here's Brian Anger now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. 
So out of bounds on the punt, and the spot will be, the side judge says, right at, yeah, right at the 35-yard line here. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up, first and 10 at their 35-yard line. They'll look to ETN to start things out. Gets past one man. And he puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six. And the offense moving quickly to the line. On second down, ETN once more. And he's got Rome. Down the sideline he goes. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. Toss left side for ETN. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. And they'll run with ETN. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. So the toss play effective, even down here near the goal line. Yeah, and you're hoping the defense commits too many men to stop the run in the middle of the field and that your blockers can gain a little bit of an advantage. And when they do, foot race to the pylon, and this time he had the speed to win that race. McManus's point after is good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. And out now come the Cowboys. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Looking to throw, Prescott. He finds his man, complete. It's Ferguson. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. What a play that turns out to be, 36 yards. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for them, and after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. On play action, Prescott. Now he drops it incomplete, and their struggles continue here. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. They'll throw again. Prescott. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds says the line judge and it's going to bring up fourth down and now it appears that the referee's been buzzed and we'll get a review and this being inside two minutes of play everything coming from at the review of the play ruling on the field is reversed so the officials and the folks in new york got a second look at this one and the call is going to be overturned here's brian anger now as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Jacksonville offense gets the ball back. Travis Etienne and company head back out there. They'll be looking to get in the end zone again. Had the touchdown, as you see, last drive on four carries. And during the break, we were looking at some of the replays from the previous drive. Really good holes created, great space. Yeah, I like the observation hey, you line, had, line. though, during that break about, okay, They've got to do something to slow down their runners. So is it bringing in more defensive linemen? Is it dropping in extra linebackers? But he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. 
But not much defensive resistance on that drive. And really, Charles, the way this offense has been humming, they haven't faced much defensive resistance the entire game. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that one team, their defense did not wake up and make it to the stadium for this one. There may be some major changes on that side of the ball when we see them the next time out. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. The Cowboys about set to take over on offense. Well, CD, it's all window dressing at this point. I mean, the best they can do is end the game with a nice drive to maybe build some momentum to move forward into their next contest. Yeah, and with how lopsided this game has been, even one score might not do a lot of cosmetic good on the scoreboard, partner, because it's just about looking forward at this point. Get a touchdown here, give yourself some positive momentum and reps to focus on when you get back to practice in the next couple of days. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Play fake. Here's Prescott. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Ferguson. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. First down, Prescott. One last shot at the end zone. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. Similar to a shooter in basketball just connected on the previous shot. They run another set for him on the next play. Now we had a guy who made the catch. They tried to get the big one downfield, but came up empty. One last shot at the end zone. And that will be incomplete. They were going for a consolation TD, but it was not to be. Time has run out now on this game. And the Jaguars have done it. Jacksonville, the Super Bowl champions. And their remarkable season ends in the most remarkable of ways. They get to put next to their name, Super Bowl champion. And they can't ever take that away, can they? Nope. That lasts forever. So good to see the emotion when it's all said and done. You see the hugs. You see the guys sharing the collective happiness. Makes me want to carry you around a little bit on my shoulders to celebrate the triumph. And congratulations to them. A fantastic season.